Hello, hello. Today we talk about something very interesting and it happens quite often. People never think about it when they consider of buying a different instrument from somebody else. And nowadays with COVID and things like this, you just you focus on the sound and you don't consider that every instrument has its personal taste, smell, odor, okay? And so it happened that a few days ago, Murdo Messer from, uh, from Canada wrote me that he just got his new double bass, a three-quarter bass, he bought it from somebody else who was a tough smoker. Now, smoking is a, is a issue, you know, some love it, some hate it. I actually, I like it when I think of my grandfather from Holland who was arriving and he was smoking his cigar and it's very nice and I still appreciate it, but I'm happy that I don't have to contribute to this um, taste which is uh, around us. But uh, less and less people are actually smokers, uh, at least here in Italy, since it is not allowed anymore in official places and restaurants, bars like this. But still, you know, it could be that your instrument was from a tough smoker and they themselves, they don't even recognize that it's deep inside. And when you get this instrument, you certainly immediately play and uh, then sooner or later then you d discover that actually the sound is great but it's really a pain this this taste which you don't get rid of and this is actually the case of murdo mesa and uh, so then i i wrote him back actually he wrote me only one sentence Edgar, do you know what you can how i can solve the problem that was it you know but it just, wow, it, it's just, you know, deja vu and everything. Uh, 35 years of things like this, which I, sometimes happen. Sometimes it's, it's only the, the, the eau de parfum or, or something, which maybe is not exactly what you want. And how, did you, how do you get it rid of this taste now? So I, I, I wrote him uh, my three options, which I would uh, suggest him. The first one is vinegar. Vinegar is great. It is great for cleaning. If you want to save uh, on cleaning products to wash the floor and uh, everything passed up against the uh, calcium on the, on the tap, you know, on the chrome and things like this. But it's also great to take away at, uh, odor. So the best thing is with this and then I described him how it could be done that you put it into plastic and you try to keep it straight up you put some bowls with vinegar inside and you just leave the instrument like this without now pouring the vinegar certainly on the instrument and this seems to be probably the best solution another great solution would be to have some uh, hold on it's every time we make a video, we have some... Oh. <laughs> okay, um, the second option which I learned in Asia when you go into these um, uh, Asian restaurants where you have to take off the shoes uh, in the very beginning of the entrance of the restaurant, they have a lot of carbon and the carbon is uh, great when it comes to take away unpleasant odors yeah so you in this case from an instrument you just pour it somehow inside the, the f holes leave it inside and then at a certain point you take it out vacuum cleaner with a tube or something or something like this uh, and the third option, which I learned in America, in every fridge in America, instead of cleaning it regularly, they just buy a jar of um, baking soda, open it and put it into the door. It's like a, a typical American uh, uh, lifestyle uh, solution in every fridge. And so you just put the baking soda or inside or you put it first in a, like a nylon uh, or something and then you put it into in order that you can take it out again. And it would work as well, but it's certainly not as efficient as the first option with the vinegar. 
So now I wrote to, uh, we, 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 he wrote me already a few pictures what he did and he gave me a little bit of his advice and I'm trying to uh, organize a, a, a video call with him and uh, let's listen and see what, what, uh, how he solved his problem and I think it, there's lots of uh, stuff to learn for, uh, from him, you know. Let's see how we can get that done. Hi there. Anna, she Hi. is my daughter. Hi Anna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So now I have here my iPad so I can see your pictures of your um super So now actually it's nice that we can see us like this and that we can talk to us like this. It's it's actually very nice. And uh how it is great that we can talk like this. This probably, how did you get your double bass? Uh, I found it on uh, uh, like an um, uh, online market, uh, Kijiji. I'm not sure if you have that there. Huh? Yep. Uh, I was just looking around and uh, it popped up and it was a really good price. So I thought, okay, I would like to have that. Okay, so you were mainly looking for the, for the right price range. Yes, yes. Um, I've always kind of wanted one. I don't know how to play it yet. I'm going to learn. I'm, I'm also learning how to play the cello, which I bought last uh, back in November. So I've been taking lessons since November. Uh, and so I added this instrument as well. Just it's nice to have them. They're beautiful instruments. So why not? The, the entire room is very nice with all these instruments. So I. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so what I said was what was just popped up in my mind is that actually all musicians are searching for the sound and they do not consider um, this, the, the, the odor or the taste and you would never search for a good, great smelling instrument. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's usually a question that uh, some uh, people will ask if they're buying something from people online or, or on Kijiji or from Facebook or so on. Is it in a home where there's a smoker? because that may affect the decision to buy it or not, because some people are really sensitive to cigarette smoke and some people don't care. Uh, and it never occurred to me to ask. I, I just assumed that it wouldn't be, uh, or it didn't, just didn't, never entered my mind. And then when my friend picked it up for me, because it was in another part of the province, uh, he said, oh, by the way, it, it was in a smoker's house and it really smells bad. And uh, so that's when I emailed you to say, uh -huh. okay, what can okay. I how can I fix this? Because I don't want to have that smell in my house. Yeah, a double bass is a little bit now, I don't want to push a double bass player into be a, mainly a smoker, but very often it happens that the double bass stays actually in, in uh, bars or restaurants and double basses just walk around only with the bow. And so they, they play whatever is there. And so they don't even face that problem. While in a violin, you always care with yourself but even I had some in the past uh, musicians, violin players who had the violin and it was too intense smelling because of the, the, the perfume of the pre-owner uh, pre before that, you know, and then they were trying to, to figure out how they can get rid of this taste because it's, it goes via the F holes inside and the surface inside is, is, is wood, which takes it easy. So it, it will certainly, even on your double bass, the surface is very big. It will remain, but it, it will go away, but it takes very long time. And the, the air is not circulating inside. So it, that makes a big uh, difference. But I liked very much how precise you, you made the whole thing with the, with the plastic, uh, gluing it together and everything. And you made it so nice all together and then even blowing the air inside, it was just, you made it really good. So right now, while you're talking, you can still smell it? Uh, not from here. I have to get up really close to smell it. Okay. But before, when I first bought it, I, I just walk into the room and I could smell it. So okay. it really made a difference to what I did, made a difference to the, the proximity you have to be to the instrument to, to smell okay. it. And even when you're up close, it's it's... It's not strong, but it's still there. It's like it's, it's like a faint odor. So I think it will definitely go away over time. With I, I might put it outside again for a few more tries, but it's way better than it was. Like I, I couldn't stand being in the room with it when it first came. Uh, 
And, and now you made just a little bit of fresh air snapping from the morning to the evening, right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> and then with the vinegar, that was actually the, 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 the biggest uh, step was uh, achieved with the vinegar and the yes. plastic around, right? Yep. Yeah, so with the, uh, you, you suggested evaporating or having vinegar underneath the instrument to, to evaporate up into it to carry away the smell and wrapping it in something to, to keep that air close to the instrument. So I, I took a couple of large plastic bags and stitched, uh, taped them together with duct tape and put that over the instrument and then put a pan of vinegar underneath. And uh, just by itself, it would probably work, but I wanted to move the air around because moving the air definitely makes a big difference to the speed of that evaporative process. Uh, so I put a fan I have, which I use for drying a basement after a flood. And it's just a, it's a, it's a wide fan and it moves a lot of air but it can do it uh, at a relatively slow rate. And that uh, the first day, the house smelled of vinegar and cigarette smoke. And then the second day, it was a little bit less. And then the third day, it was a little bit less. But I let it run for at least two to three days the first time. Okay. And, yeah. So your advice is at least three, four days to do, do this? At least, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. for the first try. And then I put it outside for a little bit in the sunshine and, and a really nice cool breeze all day long, let that do that, and it decreased the smell again. Brought it back inside, put it under the tent again. So I probably used the vinegar for about four or five days worth of of air movement. Uh, and that certainly made a difference big time. Super good. Just my last question, I don't want to take you too much time, but I, I think it's just nice what you did, how you prepared it, all the pictures and everything. It's, it's easy to understand what you did. Uh, can I also use these pictures and, and uh, put them into the video to, to show? Oh, absolutely. Yes, you're uh, more than welcome. Uh, that's okay. So, yeah. oh, thank you. I very much appreciate uh, that. That was and thank you for your help. Was, yeah, thank you for your help. It was so kind of you to respond. I really yeah, made a difference to. I, I get a lot of mail, but uh, I, somehow I pick out also the ones which I'm a little bit more interested or I think would could be. A help, and I don't think there is too much uh, on the on the net right uh, now about this uh, issue, and it is actually of interest, I think. So yes, I agree. And when do you know already when you are coming to to Italy? Oh, I, I'm not sure, but I really want to go. Uh, I have a sister who lives in uh, near Hamburg in Germany, and yeah. but they also have a place in I think it's in um, northern Italy. So yeah. I'd like to to visit both. And if I do get over to Italy, and you have to stop I'm, by, I'm to see you. <laughs> I'd Very love to see your shop and see your work. That's a good idea. I think we, we talked about everything and we keep in touch by mail. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for your testimonial. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Edgar. Bye. Goodbye. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> So this was very nice from Murdo, uh, Messer from uh, New Scotland. Uh, via this uh, video call it's possible to connect around the world. If you also have some particular interesting uh, questions, write me a mail. He just wrote like one sentence and if it's a, a interesting subject we certainly want to make an interview also with you and we want to know how you we can solve together our problems here this is the whole issue about this whole channel and uh, certainly i make my living not of solving problems like this but of selling my instruments and the instruments we are making in my workshop and you can check them out on violin cello maker dot uh, com in the beginning in the first menu go to the shop and you can see and even listen to all the available instruments and uh, yeah i think this is just really nice thanks for watching stay tuned tell your friends we're doing our best to make you happy bye bye ciao ciao ciao